guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm basically just doing like a get ready with me today. I, yeah, just kind of want to play with some makeup and I thought, why not film it? And I'm going to put up my hair just so it's not in the way. So for today, I want to use the Pat McGrath foundation because I want to see how it works with the Lancome concealers. These are my favorite. I was actually talking about these with a friend and she was saying that she needed to get a new concealer and I was like, you have to try those. They're so good. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to use a primer. I'm going to skip a primer. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel like it. Also, look at this sponge. It's like a pretty gray color. I got it online. I was actually buying this guy. So this is a little sponge holder. So you can see there it has holes through it. And then this is how you, you like open it up and the sponge just fits inside. And I thought I was just buying this, but then when I got it, this came in with it and I was like, huh, okay, cool. So yeah, normally I use the real Techniques sponge, but since they gave me this, I was like, why not? Just making sure the color is still good. And it is. So yeah, I'm not going anywhere really or doing anything that I know of. I might film another video but I really just feel like playing with makeup. And of course today's Sunday. I feel like I've said it before. I feel like I always film videos. Let me scoot in a little bit. I feel like I always film <laughs> videos on Sundays. I think it's because Sundays are just such a relaxing day for me. And so, yeah, I like to film when I'm, you know, primarily in the mood and I'm just feeling good vibes and I, I don't know, more often than not, it's on Sundays. <laughs> oh, love this foundation. Oldie but a goodie. Lately I have been using the House Labs because I just reviewed it and I just tried it and I love that foundation a lot as well, but Nothing beats Pat McGrath. Oh, it's so pretty. Love this. So I'm going to go in with this one. It's the 415. And I use two shades just because I, I have both, so why not? One is a little bit more brightening. This one is a little bit closer to my skin tone. It looks like it is lighter than my skin tone right now, and it is a little bit. But once you blend it out, it's actually pretty similar to my actual skin. I'll show you guys. See what I mean? I feel like you almost can't even tell that I'm wearing concealer, which sometimes, you know, you're going for that, but sometimes you want a little bit of, you know, like the more brightening effect. And so that's why I went and bought this one which is the shade 320. So that one was 415. This one is 320. And this one is definitely lighter. The way this product blends out, like it still works. You can kind of get away with having a little bit of a brighter concealer and not, you know, looking completely crazy just because of how nicely it blends out. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Yeah, I think just because of how natural it looks, how buildable it is, how easily it blends, like the consistency of it, I'm gonna go ahead and make a very dramatic statement and say, if I could only use one concealer for the rest of my life at this point, it would be this one over every other concealer that I've ever used. This Lancome concealer is everything. It's so, so good. And I highly recommend it to anybody 
who wants or cares about concealer at all. Like it's that serious. It is so, so good. Okay, so for powder, I was going to use um, the Pat McGrath to powder my eyelids, but I have, I was looking through my powder drawer and there are so many powders that I purchased and I haven't used them and they're expensive. Some of them are expensive. So this is one, this is called um, The Powder by La Mer. And it's, I don't know, it's kind of like a beigey, Hopefully you guys can see that. It's kind of like a light beige color. So I'm thinking maybe this will work. I think I'm not going to set my entire face with it. I am just going to set like this area where I would normally put the, um, the Pat McGrath and we'll see. Cause it's been a long time since I used this. Yeah, I can definitely see it. It's a little, it's a little lighter. I think this is supposed to be like a transparent powder, but because it is a little lighter, I don't think I would want to use it for my entire face. At least not with my skin tone. I mean, if you're lighter than me, you probably could get away with it. But I do think it might work out quite nicely for under the eye or just the eye area in general just because it's nice like in brightening a little so yeah that's nice i don't know that i would ever just being honest i don't know that i would ever repurchase it probably not i mean unless they came out with like a really amazing new formula and everyone was talking about it but i don't exactly remember how much i paid for it but I do remember it was expensive and I don't know. I think now having like the Pat McGrath under eye powder, as well as the Laura Mercier, the secret brightening powder. I like that one a lot when I am trying to brighten under my eyes and they're just not the same, you know, steep price as La Mer. So it's one of those things where it's like, is it really worth it? Um, I don't know, probably not, <laughs> but I already have it. So I'm kind of like, you need to start using it. So it actually is kind of pretty now that I'm looking at it. I feel like it gives me a very like soft blurring effect with a little bit of brightness, but not like too much brightness. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully it's translating on camera, but it does look pretty. Now I'm going to take the Kosas powder. Uh, with ironically <laughs> the La Mer powder brush, which I do think is worth it. This is expensive. It is pricey, but it's really nice. It's a really nice big fluffy brush. Um, and I do have a good amount of fluffy brushes, but I'll be honest, this one I enjoy using way more often. Um, and again, if I could only have one big fluffy powder brush forever, it would be this one. It's amazing. So I'm just going to take some of this and then buff around. And then for eyeshadow, I'm just going to take, I think probably this color right here. It's this really pretty brown, like caramel shade. And I'm just going to lightly fluff this really lightly in the crease. I almost kind of don't even want it to look like anything's there. I just want to add really just like a shadow just for a little um, dimension, that's all. And then I'm gonna take this little like detailed brush and go in with the lightest shade in this palette, which I don't even know if you guys can see that hopefully, but it's like a light, like a light pinky color and it is matte, but I like to just pop that in the center or not the center, the inner corner of my eyelid, just to add a little bit of brightness. I feel like it really opens up the eyes. And then for bronzer, I'm gonna use this one by Ilia. This is in the shade Uptown. So super pretty, very pigmented, but it does get kind of powdery, so you just have to be careful. And lately, I have been using two 
um, brushes. So this one's by MAC, this one's by Tom Ford. This one kind of has like a diagonal little like slant up here. So it is perfect for kind of carving out the cheeks. You can see here, this is where I typically will bronze or contour really. And it just fits perfectly right there. So I love using this one here, but then this one is just perfect for just doing it all over like bronze everywhere. So I kind of use both and I'm going to, you have to be like really careful with this, with this bronzer. It's really good. It just kicks up a lot of powder and a good amount will go onto your brush as you can see. So just start off with a little bit and then you can always build your way up. So I feel like it deposits like a lot of color, which is good. I mean, you're definitely not going to, I feel like, lose a lot of this and a, a little is gonna go a long way. And usually when I'm doing bronzer on my cheeks, I'll almost always go back in and, you know, kind of build up a little bit, not with this bronzer. Like, if you guys can see that, but I just don't feel like there's any need. <laughs> one one time into the pan and you're gonna be good at least in that section okay so then I'll go in with this brush and same thing just be look very very careful always kind of tap the excess off and then I'll just start buffing And we are using Patrick Ta's blush. This is in the shade She's Seductive. So pretty. It's like the perfect berry tone blush for the fall. And I feel like honestly, up until this point, it's just like a normal get ready with me. But I think that's cool. You can do like a, a normal basic everyday makeup and then you just throw in one or two things with some color and all of a sudden it becomes like a little bit more festive. Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna stop here. I was going to use the Fort de France highlighter by NARS, but I don't know, something about skipping the highlight sometimes, especially in the fall season, mainly in the fall season. I feel like summertime it's all about like glowing, dewy skin, but in the fall, I'm okay without highlight. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of vibing with this look just as it is. So I'm gonna skip on this. I am gonna go finish my eyebrows and do mascara, so I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm kind of having a moment. <laughs> so um, to finish off this look, I wanted to try this new lip gloss by Clinique. It's called the Clinique Pop Plush Creamy Lip Gloss. I was watching Glamzilla's video um, where she tried this in the shade Black Honey, which Black Honey is an older shade by Clinique, but, and I've tried it before, but I used it in their like normal bullet, like lipstick formula. I've never tried it in the gloss. And when I saw her put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, that is stunning. And so this whole look was based around that lip gloss. Um, and then I just realized right now when I pulled it out of the Sephora bag, the girl who helped me gave me Brulee Pop, not Black Honey. So I'm kind of bummed and I was like, should I just use this one? I mean, this color looks okay. It looks like a pretty like mauve shade, but I was like, no, I really want to use the black honey. So I think I'm going to return this one and I'll try it in another video and I'll try it with this palette too, because this is a palette by Ilia. It's called the Necessary Eyeshadow Palette and it just has a lot of beautiful fall colors. I bought it a while ago, but I was saving it for the fall season. So I was thinking about it and I was like a smoky eye with this palette with the black honey lip gloss it'll just be a really pretty look so that's what i'm gonna do we're gonna pause on this um and for a lip color what is it oh, this one i'm just gonna use the burberry kisses trench leather which is a really pretty their packaging it like magnetizes i love that um and i accidentally chipped mine a little bit <laughs> but this is the color it's really really pretty and I feel like it'll go well with um, with this look and it is like a fall color. So I'm not going to do a lip liner. I'm just gonna put the lipstick on. Okay, so this is the color. I don't know, it's a pretty color. I think I was just, I had my heart set on that other shade and so I'm just kind of like, mm, 
It's okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll use a brown color. I actually have another Burberry lipstick that's a little bit more brown, and I feel like I might like that instead. I'm gonna go try that on. So this is, if you guys like this color, yeah, it's called Trench Leather. So it is pretty, it is pretty, it is very much fall. It's just, I don't know. I'm gonna try the other one, I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually grabbed three shades so we could kinda like see which one. So this is called Monogram Brown, and this is the other Burberry lipstick so it's like a pretty I mean it's less brown than I thought actually but it is a really pretty color and then this is by Merit um, and this is called slip I have used this before and I am so obsessed with this color this is more of a sheer color so if you want more pigment you have to kind of layer it so it's that one right there this is such a beautiful color and I feel like so flattering on so many people. Now this one I feel like is actual like true brown. This is by AJ Crimson and this is called No Shade. Yeah, this is like a brown, brown, brown. Okay, so what color should I wear you guys? I feel like, hmm. Maybe the one, the first one, is that the, I think that's the Burberry, okay. I wonder if I should use a lip liner for it. I always use this lip liner, not this one, it's, oh, the Patrick Ta Oshi oh, Single. So let's see. We'll just draw a couple lines, we'll just, we'll figure it out. Since I'm not getting to use the Clinique one, Okay, so these are the two lip liners, and I actually feel like this lip liner right here would go perfect with this color right here. Okay, so for whatever reason, I'm definitely vibing more with this color right now. <laughs> um, they're both pretty. The one that I had on before is also pretty, but this love this I think it's so so pretty and it's interesting because my entire look is more warm tone and then this lip is definitely more like cool neutral but for some reason it works so I don't know I really like it though also the lip color I noticed reminds me of my hair clip I just got these new hair clips from Amazon okay this is a lip color that's my hair clip lip color hair clip it's similar, right? At least similar. I don't know. Anyways, it was not on purpose. That's not why I chose this color, but just cool fact. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.